I want to show you an easy way to DIY some artwork for your walls. You don't have to have a lot of money. You can find fabric such as my new velvets that I've had printed from my original artwork and I'm now selling the yards on my website at theturquoiseiris.com. But I want to show you a way to mix with original artwork. I recently launched a line of velvet fabrics called Efflorescence. And I'm starting out by looking at all of the samples I've had printed. Some of the designs worked and well, some of them I didn't think would be good sellers. So I'm gonna use some of those and cover some frames that I have collected over the years from some previous canvas projects. So I just dusted these off from the garage and I'm gonna lay these out on the table. The only supplies I need are scissors and a staple gun. If velvet is not your thing, or you're wanting something lighter or even more vintage, consider using some old drapes or a comforter or an old quilt. There are many beautiful vintage textiles available that you could also use as artwork on your wall. For me, the fun part is grabbing the frame and deciding which section will be the perfect composition inside this frame for the area on the wall that I want to hang it. All of these were original artworks where I've taken a section, photographed it, and then had my printer do some velvets. I'm hoping to move into wallpaper next, but for now I'm gonna cover my walls in these beautiful, lush fabrics. This one, for example, I can't fit the entire frame around the entire piece, but what I can do is just have a small section here. So I carefully positioned it with a little bit of the turquoise, a little bit of the yellow, and a lot of the red. Now I have to just kind of chuckle to myself because this takes me back before I ever started painting on canvas, before I, let's just say, let the artist out. I didn't even realize I had an artist within me, but I was taking some of my old clothes and skirts and just kind of cutting them up. And then I used really beautiful fabrics from Amy Butler. And I was piecing them together wrapping them around canvases and stapling them to the back. I also layered sections from multiple fabrics onto one canvas frame. And then I put them all together, hung them on my wall. I even staggered some of them. So I'd have two on the wall and then a third one in the center. And I just hung the nail out a little bit further. So I almost created a 3D look. I sold those to a salon here in Oklahoma City, and I had so much fun doing that. So I'm finding so much joy in doing this, and it's amazing that 14 years later, I find myself doing something similar. I would have never dreamed the fabric I'd be using would be my own, though. I certainly know, love, and appreciate original art, because of course, on the turquoiseiris.com, I have many paintings available. But this is such an easy way to add some DIY art until you're in a position to also have your own piece of original artwork. 